A tooth belonging to former Beatle John Lennon has gone on display at a dental surgery in Dublin in a bid to spread the message of regular dental checkups. Dozens of people turned out to see the tooth and get a free oral screening for mouth cancer which kills more people in Ireland each year than cervical cancer. I went along to see the tooth and get a checkup. If you don't like going to the dentist, then listen up. One dental specialist is employing a novel way of getting people into the dentist chair on the base. John Lennon's tooth. Well, part of his tooth anyway. Yes, the lure of this famous beetle is so strong, it's enticing reluctant patients back into the dental chair. Dental surgeries are busy places, but on Friday, fingless dental care was heaving. John Lennon looked on as Beatle fans queued for a dental checkup and a chance to get to wear John Lennon's tooth. So, Paul, first of all, tell us, where did you get the tooth? The tooth came from a Canadian dentist called Yar Zuck. He's an avid celebrity tooth collector and he bought the tooth at auction, uh, originally came from John Lennon's housekeeper with a letter saying I got a tooth out today and here it is, I thought you might like it. John Lennon so sent it to his John Lennon sent it to his housekeeper with, with the note attached. So the note, the tooth and the lot were bought by the Canadian dentist. For how much? Um, for I believe it was about $30,000. Okay. Um, but this isn't obviously the whole tooth. I mean, no. it's 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 the tooth DNA. It's a bit of a cheat. <laughs> the, the tooth has is still intact, and one of the roots of the tooth has been ground down a bit, and the fragments that came off it have been incorporated within the necklace. Okay. And did you get on to the dentist and say? We contacted uh, Yar Zuck and let him know that we'd be interested in borrowing the tooth to try to do some promotion to raise awareness for mouth cancer. Carl Elward read about the tooth's arrival in the paper. I was just thinking, wow, a bit of his tooth and things, couldn't believe it. <laughs> Over the moon. Just to see it, just to have it here, like, I couldn't believe it. Uh, well, how does it make you feel to be wearing a part of him? Well, when I was holding the force behind stage shaking, they couldn't stop my hand shaking, I didn't. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I actually braved it. I thought I've got to come because uh, I'm very nervous of the dentist. And I kept putting it off and putting it off. And I thought this will make me go back again. So uh, I came back. <laughs> you were, being, were you a, a big Beatles fan? Very. John Lennon, yeah. especially. Yeah. 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 So you're now wearing a bit of John. I'm actually wearing, yes. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Oh, it's absolutely great. <laughs> Marie Farrell is well aware of the dangers of mouth cancer after discovering a lump on her mouth a number of years ago. It's there. Mm. Okay. It does look a bit like a cold sore. It does, yeah, but it's permanently there. And how long has it been there? Uh, five years. Okay. okay. But that's not to say that um, it could change, you know, it could change colour, it could get bigger. And if that happened, to go back straight away. The quick answer is we're looking for anything abnormal, something that shouldn't be there. To expand on that, it's bumps, lumps, ulcers, red patches, white patches, things like that really, if, if we see them and we can't see a real reason why they're there. Okay, well you're doing the screening free today yes. uh, with the tooth, but yes. the tooth is going back to Canada. tooth is going Canada. back, it's going back to Canada, but it may not even get to Canada because I believe I've just been told that it's going up for auction in Liverpool and at, at a dental event where I know that some of the Liverpool and Everton players are going to be at. Okay. So maybe one of the, the big football stars might be wearing this around their neck. And what do you think something like this is worth? <laughs> John the, Lennon's DNA. There, there were three made. One has been kept by Yar. One has already been auctioned and it went for 25,000 sterling. Okay. And this one is due to be auctioned. Well, listen, um, I'm going to put it on and I'm going to see if you'll have a look at my mouth. Of course. It only takes about a minute, right? It takes less than a minute, yeah. And fingers crossed there's nothing lurking inside. And possibly the ghost of John might come back. I haven't been to the dentist in about two years. I'm ashamed. Don't worry. Everybody says that two years is no time in dental. Is it not? No. Not really. I shouldn't really have admitted that on the camera. That's it. Okay. So, okay. so we'll start. Just close the teeth together. Perfect.